Okay, hello everybody. Here's a quick update on where things are at with the layout. Um, I've been working on some finishing work on the back and the sides. Um, on the back here, I basically just used some 1 8 inch hardboard that's been spray painted black. And uh, I used some pan head screws to attach that. And so these can be removed easily to uh, access the wiring if need be. And then I've also added some uh, little... Um, uh, they're like basically little plastic discs with felt on them. These are the kind of things that you would put on the bottom of chairs or tables to uh, you know let them slide and, and not scratch up a wood floor and that kind of thing. And so this way the, the screw heads won't touch uh, a tabletop and and uh, and scratch things up. I had tried initially to do um, recessed um, uh, regular wood screws. They have the flat heads and uh, that. The problem is, is with the with the one eighth inch thick hardboard, there wasn't you know there wasn't a lot of material left after you kind of um, countersink the, uh, the drill holes for the uh, for the screw heads, and and so I was worried that with time they may not or they, it might start working loose and that kind of thing. So I went ahead and switched out to pan head screws that will you know hold things more secure. But um, you know it probably would have been okay the other way. I just wasn't sure if it would hold up over time as well. And with the bottom of the layout done, I've also worked on. Uh, staining the sides of the layout and again these are all this is just uh, um, it's all hardwood it's all uh, poplar I think I can't remember what I used on it now uh, I believe it is all poplar and I've gone ahead and decided to use a, a black stain polyurethane mix um, I've done just wood stain like you know more of a traditional wood stain color in the past and I thought I'd go ahead with the black this time make it look a little I don't know a little uh, um, different from what I've done previously and so far it's looking pretty good. I'm using the Minwax Poly Shades. Um, this is just a classic black so it's got the black stain and polyurethane mixed together. That really isn't the, I mean it doesn't really save you time to use the pre-mixed ones that have the stain and polyurethane together because you're gonna actually have to end up doing quite a few coats to get a good a good finish anyway. They just not have, they just didn't have any of the black stain by itself um, available at the Home Depot when I was there and uh, and so I went ahead and got those um, so I'll end up probably putting on three or four coats I've, I've put the first coat on I've done some sanding already so it's smooth again and I'll come back and do another coat and sand it and put another coat on and again probably do at least three or four coats to get it to where there's a nice durable finish on there that won't um, you know scratch off too easily and and uh, be able to withstand a little bit a little bit more um, punishment than what you know you know a single coat would do and uh, you know, it, again, it's, it's usually a little bit more durable if you do regular stain and then do a few coats of polyurethane on top of that. But, but I, I've used this kind of in the past before and it's worked out okay. Um, but again, you, you got to do a few coats at least to get that durability factor up uh, above what you would normally get with just one or two coats. So, um, so that's what I'm doing. But anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.